today we actually have a special guest joining us for the review. And that guest is the Isocentric. Welcome to the review, Isocentric. Happy to be here. But seriously, dumb jokes aside, this actually is a special guest to have on the review. I ended up enjoying this paddle quite a bit. Uh, I'll tell you all about it. I won't leave out the cons and aspects that I think some people may not like or, or gear towards. Uh, but one of the coolest things about the Isocentric is that it has a list price, a, a base list price of under $100. And with the PBMed discount code, the price is all the way down to $89. So with that price and some of the really cool features about this paddle, uh, I think this has the potential to be one of the most popular paddles of the coming year. And don't forget, if you like the review, go ahead and subscribe. It'd do me a favor, it enables me to make more content like this, and you'll be the first to know about new great paddles, review on existing companies, and drills and stuff that I come out with. So, hope you enjoy. I'll start with some specifications. Uh, some facts, some things you should know about the paddle. Before I get into the actual playability, uh, things I actually felt when I played with the paddle, and I'll make some recommendations on who I think would like and wouldn't like this paddle. I'll give you a sneak peek. My favorite aspect of the Isocentric it has a very, very satisfying feel. It's really cool to hit the paw with this paddle. It has a really soft, plush touch, and it has that really cool trampoline effect that people are probably looking for uh, when they are looking to get a thermoform paddle. So the feel, very good with the Isocentric. That's my favorite quality. Here's some of the more important facts I think you should know about the Isocentric. Measuring in at 16.3 by 7.5 inches, the Centric's in a hybrid shape, so instead of having square, sharper top corners, it has the more rounded shape to improve on paddle maneuverability and reduce overall weight. The Centric is thermoformed and made of T700 carbon fiber. Right now the Centric is offered in one thickness option and that's the 16mm, roughly 8.3 ounce version. The handle measures in at 5.3 inches, which I feel is somewhat between a standard and elongated handle length, while definitely leaning a little bit on the longer side. These paddles are ready for action with USAPA approval. And like I said before, the cheapest way to get one of the ISO-centric paddles is with the 10% off code PBMED. And I'll throw a link to the ISO website in the description below the video. All right, before I talk about the specific aspects of the playability of the ISO-centric, I'll give you the big picture and talk about the adjustment period in general. I didn't feel like there was one. I felt like pretty much right away, I knew exactly how the ISO-centric felt. Uh, it was an easy adjustment especially in terms of control, dinks, drops. I felt really like, in general, this was a, a kind of a control monster. I was as confident as I ever have been when it comes to dropping, dinking, stuff like that. I did end up adding some lead tape to the paddle um, because I felt like it could use some improvement on power. It had good trampoline effect. Um, it had good dwell time, great spin, um, but I added some weight, added some lead tape to give it a little bit more power, and that did help. But we'll get into the nitty gritty following that. The published swing weight for the Centric was 120. That's less than most elongated paddles, and maybe on the upper end of normal for a hybrid paddle, uh, but for a 16 millimeter, I felt like it was pretty good. And when I actually picked it up and held it in my hand and moved it around, the handle length combined with the overall weight of the paddle felt pretty well balanced. The twist weight came in at 6.65, which is reminiscent of the Volair Mach 2, which was designed to have a good sweet spot and be a stable paddle. Uh, and I felt like this translated pretty well to the Centric as well, which I felt like was great on control and had a good sweet spot. Like I'd mentioned before, my favorite aspect of the Isocentric was the increased amount of control that I experienced. I can pretty confidently say that I landed more drops with the Centric than I have with any other paddle. The Centric has a really plush, nice, soft feel, uh, made it feel pretty effortless working through the transition zone from thirds to fifths, and resets felt pretty good too. This extended to dinking as well. I felt pretty comfortable at the kitchen line and I never really felt 
in danger of hitting pop-ups because of the paddle. I've always felt pretty controlled as well, and I felt pretty comfortable whipping it for a speed up because of the paddle spin. I thought the Centric had great spin, this in part because of the good paddle face material and the added dwell time that I experienced, and this translated to drives, serves, and speed ups with good shape. If you're good at generating your own power, you'd probably be pretty good with the Centric, and this was the biggest adjustment for me as I'd been playing with really poppy paddles up to this point. I dumped a few server turns into the net until I got used to the power level of the Centric. I also ended up adding about 1.5 grams of lead tape right at the base of the face, and I felt like that was just about right for where I wanted the paddle to be. In summary, what do I think of the Isocentric? I actually really like it. Um, without a doubt, this is in my top five for paddles under $100. I've got a few more in the queue that I've got lined up to try here, here in the near future. Um, but at this time, I think it's really between this and the Rev Aria Pro for what I think is the top paddle uh, under $100. They're both thermal form, they're both carbon fiber. Um, so I think it really comes down to what kind of a paddle you like and what kind of things you're looking for in a paddle. But specifically for the isocentric, great control paddle, great spin, and a really cool look at a great price. So kind of like I said before, uh, people who I think are gonna like this paddle are people who like control paddles with good spin. Um, I was as confident as I ever have been, eating drops, dinks. Uh, I really did not feel threat of popping the ball up, um, of thinking that I was gonna miss hit it and get my partner attacked at the kitchen line or something like that. Um, and I loved the way that the shape uh, was put on the ball on serves and drive the one on as far as how it curved. So control and spin, if you like those things and you're there, they're your priority, you're probably going to like this. And if you're a player who tends to pop the ball up quite a bit and you struggle with those parts of your game, this is probably going to be a really good paddle for you. Plus, the feel just, just feels nice. But if you're a player who likes the paddle to do the work for you, you like the paddle, it's gonna, like, the ball's gonna fly off of its face, um, you're gonna hit like these fireball drives, uh, it's probably not the isocentric. This is a 16 millimeter gray control paddle, not a ton of power, lead tape helps, um, but if you like really hot, really powerful paddles and you like to dial it down from there for control, um, this is kind of the opposite. It's a control paddle that you can dial up. And one more thing, I think this is really important to add. Having worked with a number of companies at this point, um, I will say that the folks over at ISO Pickleball have been really good to work with. Um, they've responded in a really timely manner to answer all my various questions, you know, as I reached out about whatever it is I <laughs> reached out at the various points. Um, this is like their baby. Uh, they love the, the company that they've made. Um, they love working with folks and they really want it to grow. Not everyone is quite so invested in you know, rapid response and customer relations, all that stuff. So I feel like the company is really in good hands and they care about the customers. So just thought I'd throw that in because uh, that's been kind of my feel with them and I have not always felt that way. And go ahead and weigh in. If you've had a chance to play with the isocentric, let us know what you think in the comments. Um, also, if you have anything you'd like to see or you like that you see uh, in the reviews that I do, let me know. I hope you like the review.